Welcome back into Birmingham, Alabama on NewsChannel12Live.com slash The Extra Point. Josh Hall here with Fletcher Keel with a special report from the concourse. The court's being taken right now by the first semifinal matchup with the men's, but the Lady Toppers of WKU just won their semifinal matchup 61-59 over the Lady Monarchs of Old Dominion. Alexis Govan steps to the line late in the game, hits two free throws. Those end up winning the game, but it was a freshman guard, not a senior, that got into the game and, and sparked WKU back for this victory. Josh, you were saying earlier when we were off camera that the team MVP of this tournament for the Hilltoppers could average seven points, and that's what Tasia Brown's doing. Uh, the past two games, the Lady Toppers have had big leads, both against Charlotte yesterday and against Old Dominion today, and, and it really came down to under two minutes ago. Tasia Brown got two quick buckets in both games and was able to spark a Hilltopper run, and, and her four points here today led to Alexis Govan hitting those two shots to ultimately win the game for the Lady Toppers. He was a freshman for WKU, but a veteran for Old Dominion in Jenny Sims. She was held to just two points on 0 of 6 shooting in the first half when WKU had a 17-point lead going into the locker room. But Sims comes out and almost single-handedly outscores WKU. Yeah, and it's a good thing the Hilltoppers kept Sims in check in that first half. Otherwise, we might still be playing in overtime or maybe even talking about a Lady Topper loss. Sims scored 20. Three points in that second half. Lady Toppers, 24 points. And so uh, a good player in Sims, and she talked about it post game that uh, we asked what was it about that second half? Did WK do anything different defensively? Was offensive game plan a little different? And Sims said, no, my team just trusts me. And that's what every great team that can make it to a conference semifinal has is that player that everyone trusts and they can go to. And she didn't let her team down, had the ball in the last uh, in the last seconds of the game and, and just didn't get that look to win the game for Old Dominion, but still played her hearts out. And Coach Barefoot from Old Dominion really, really was proud of how she and, and Sims played. Coach Hurd for WKU will look to players to trust tomorrow in Alexis Govan, Chastity Gooch. Kendall Noble against Southern Miss right on the court behind us here in Legacy Arena. Southern Miss accounts for one of the WKU's two conference losses. That came in Diddle Arena. Alexis Govan didn't say she was excited to play against Southern Miss again. She said she's excited to play for a conference championship, and they'll have to be ready tomorrow. And with the resume WK has here in Birmingham, I wouldn't be excited to play Southern Miss Eagle or Southern Miss either. Hilltoppers have almost given away their first two games. Southern Miss, on the other hand, before the Lady Tops took the court today, came back from 13 points down to beat Middle Tennessee to get to the final. So a team that can come back against a team that has a little bit of trouble staying ahead. I guess they don't like how comfortable it feels to be on top during the game. So it'll be a battle. The last time these two teams met, it was a two-point win for the Eagles, one of only two conference losses. WKU has all season a two-point win here today for the Lady Toppers. So we should be in for a great one tomorrow night here at the BJCC. In order to earn an automatic bid to the NCAA championship, WKU will need to beat Southern Miss here tomorrow night. And to do that, Coach Hurd said post game that they need to guard well and then to play well against Southern Miss's zone, something that they struggled with the first time. With your report from the concourse after a 61-59 victory for the Lady Toppers, with Fletcher Keel, I'm Josh Holland.